go live. Let me just Let's see, how do I set which game I play? It's gaming. There we go. Free house. Safe. All right. How do we even know I'm streaming this? It's not like getting any viewers. Let's see normal, classic. That's yes, sure. Let me just remove this. So these are like crest users. Why are you wearing high heels to battle? already dead I think you got him You know, they could have made that the tutorial battle or something like that, where we would play as Cyrus and kill that dude. But, okay. Oh my. What could have 
brought you here? Uh, I don't know, I just turned on the game. a moment of repose. Oh, very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. You want me here or not? Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Do I have room to... I keep forgetting. C... K... Ah. Just barely. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? I was born under the moon that orbits planet Earth. Wow, wonders never cease! It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Hmm. It all feels so... familiar. I think it may be time for... yet another nap. Night-night. Oh, right. I completely forgot that this game has also advanced. And that I've turned it on because... Uh, I'm dumb. Hey, time to wake up. Oh, hey, Dad. Were you having that dream again? You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. But will the dawn be radiant? Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What was that pop-up they showed? I'll probably learn later. What's happened? Oh. Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dying. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm, considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Alright, now it's time for the tutorial. Hello you, you've never played a firehammer game before. You don't know what strategy is or how to use your brain. So we're here to teach you. Once the loading screen is over.
Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. All right. Oh, I can... Okay, I cannot change it. Okay, I was like, wait, I can change that mid-battle? On... Assistant mission, on battle speed. Is this like the map movement or the animation? I'll turn off smart and if I can rewind, I don't want it on. Curse memory, please. Yes, please. Grid, yes, please. Nope. I can't see a preview. Alright, now that I've taken my comfortable settings, which I have no idea what are, because Stay I've never focused. played a fire game before. Oh, I do have smart initiation, alright. Alright, so what are the willing. standard rules for bows in this game? How do I, like, open the... Nope, that's not the button. There we go, alright. Range 2. So we can attack at range 2. So that means that if I move him here, can he like combat out curve shot? Okay, then he can shoot further. And this game won't just allow him to initiate up front, right? Nope. Alright, attack. Ah shit, they gain XP. Then I can't use Dimitri and Edelgard. They won't. Uh, they, getting them XP will just be a waste of kills. Well, leveling them up would be a waste of XP, rather. What do I have? Wrath Strike, what does that do? A powerful Sword Attack. Might plus 5, hit plus 10, range 1. What even are my stats like? Let's see. Dex is the new skill, right? And what's this guy like? Can I follow up? I can't follow up, alright, I'll just... Combat Arts, Wrath Strike, Iron Sword, and that asshole. As expected. Okay, this is how I turn on threatened areas. One, two, three, four. They only have four move. Do we only have four move? I will prevail. We only have four move. Oh, I can't control the rolls. Right, everyone, form up in formation, I guess. I'll cut through. The enemies are not going to do anything. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Wow. I don't know how terrain works. Thank you for explaining it to my simple soul. Her mind. Oh, I can talk with these guys. You have a strange aura about you. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. Can you talk like these guys? Nope. Dimitri can't talk with Edelgard and Cloud. Edelgard, Edelgard. <laughs> 
Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. Is this like a this rock? Between us all there we go. Right. That's alright. Wait, I can Oh wait, it's just a bookmark, not a mid battle save. All right, time to do a bit yes, of promoting. Good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Okay. Gotcha. It'll got me back one space, and then Claude, can I? Nope, I can't hit from here. Map soup in this game looks amazing. Oh, so I activated some sort of crest here. What's that? I need to check all sorts of things nowadays. This is a fine opportunity. Use the combat arts I taught you. I've already used combat arts, I know how to work. Do those. You should take them out to attack without using them. Alright, let's see. How do I come at us? Okay, how do I get the curse over to the left menu so I can look at my abilities? Uh, I have a secondary equip slot apparently. Was that like just two inventory slots? I don't have more than that. If we've got one durability but only two equip slots, that's pretty bad. How do I get the curse over to check my abilities? Can I like. Nope. I have held back. Strength, death resist, defense resistance. That's pretty okay. I don't really know if that was a good level up because it's not like I. Okay, so they show what they are currently threatening to do. Let's just get Edelgard and Dimitri out of the way. And then let's see, this guy has a range of down to there. So I should be down here with Claude. And then I can curve shot that asshole. That's not a curved shot, that was perfectly straight! It was a good try. No, it was not a good try. You didn't try at all. You fired perfectly her sons. If you want to do a curve shot, you at least have to do like the angle. Attack when an ally is nearby. And the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Nearby the enemy or near what? So it's in second one from all the other units. Oh, so so that was what they showed. Okay, I thought that they were showing the like what the enemy was triggered to do threatening to do. Okay, that actually makes ranged units pretty powerful. In this game, because like they can exert pressure over a lot of area. Yeah. Oh! That's the golden deer for you. Okay, let's see. We've got some enemies up here. Okay, he does have more inventory slots than just two. 
So like, do we have separate inventories for weapons and items now? Well, weapons and consumables. Ignoring the fact that with weapon durability, weapons technically also are consumables. Why am I even moving Edelgard and Dimitri? Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Hello, generic bandit leader who's going to die because you're a fucking generic leader. That's all you guys do. No, Gerald, stay out. I want to do this alone. All right, bunker down. All right, so like this is. Trina cannot be crossed. I just should be able to climb the tower and use it. Sorry that I say that, but it's true. Hey, you with the blank stare! Out of my way! Oh, they don't do those doing the maps soon anymore. I kind of liked when they did that. Like none of them can threaten Claude if he goes down here and takes the shot. That's not good enough. How much experience is curved shot? Might plus one, so that's still not good enough, right? Alright, so if I do first of all a standard hit with my sword. Huh. <laughs> Get tracked on. I don't need no weapon triangle to beat your ass. Not that I know what a weapon triangle is, because I've never played Fire Emblem before. Just to be perfectly sure, this guy is. Yeah, he was threatening. But I guess that if I do like curved shot from here. <laughs> That's a funny thing to say right before you get shot by an archer. And die from getting shot by said archer. Oh, he didn't die. HP, strength, luck, and resistance. Okay. Oh. Why did you do that? Edelgard was ready to kick his ass. Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. Yeah, exactly. Violet, that was dumb. Well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. Hello, I'm girl and fro. The beginning. But who, who's then? Who then is the end? Are we gonna get a flashback now? Mm. Oh, okay. That is it. My name is Sophis. And I am also called The Beginning. But who once called me that? The end did. I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Phooey! That child's just saved your life! And what does that make you? <laughs> Correct! You understand? Oh, it's a relationship up. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. 
Hmm, I do not hear your gratitude. Perhaps I should force you to leave? Please don't. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Okay, like, the mouse, mouse stopped moving long before she got done talking. However did I manage that? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. I like the prospects of my future. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? <laughs> of course, I must turn back the hands of time. All right, so I, I do get time travel. You really are quite troublesome. It's like Miller's turn wheel. You cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Wow, this time I did the smart thing, instead of turning my back to the guy who's charging at me. I sure am intelligent, it was good that I learned the future so that I stopped being such an idiot. Hey. Hey! The thieves are running away! Go after them! Or maybe... I can move myself up here. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, why him? Yay! That's right, Claude is the fucking MVP, and you better damn remember it. And you damn better remember it. How, you better. I don't know. You better remember it, damn it. I'm. I'm not, like, an English Thanks. person. Captain Jolt? It is you! Goodness, it's been ages! Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man! Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois, just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? <laughs> I, I kind of want to pick this just to see what happens. <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? Do I have a choice? My character says no. What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. What delayed reflexes you just had there, Bailiff? Your presence is required. Get going. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. 
You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officer's Academy at Garrig Mach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. <laughs> everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. <laughs> because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. Except for when it died. You showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please. Do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Let's all stand oh, completely sure like trying to recruit lifelessly just in idle poses. Hopeless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? And I just pick right now. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Well, since I'm joining the list Alliance and serving Claude, I have to do the thing. Let's see how do I... Uh... Blap, blap. There we go. Is that right? Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Are you reading my thoughts? Oh, it's so sleepy when she's here. Oh, I may be sleeping. But... Well, go to bed then, Tiki. Yeah. The game starts in 4:20. Part 1. 
White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. Roll credits. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Vodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by... Is anything that was not said during the E3 knights, trailer the the going to be like added at the end of this, or can I just skip ahead? The frigid north is the home of the holy kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. So, nothing new. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. You've got like a giant wall there, and then you've just got a big opening. Not even a gate in the big opening, just a big fucking opening. And then you've got there another wall right behind in the yeah, exact same the way. Brilliant fucking defense design. It's called gatehouses. Google it. Oh wait, you don't have Google. Uh, use some sort of spell to look it up. I look very silly. Don't stare, you little fucking bitch. Ray is here. I suspect that Gibald and Rhea have some sort of history together. And that it might not be too fond memories. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. Uh... You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop. Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Setek. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, Fire and parents are really terrible at staying alive. Hashtag foreshadowing. A fine name indeed. 
From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officer's Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. Uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Well, she's not uh, exactly no, known for covering up. I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. Stop hitting it's on nice me. To meet you. <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay Stop me. hitting on me. I would love to... Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Now, no wonder that student was staring. She's constantly coming on to everyone. Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Black Eagle House is for students from Why the Dresden. Why are you explaining this after I pick my, you know, Edelgard, allegiance? The Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, Please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. 
How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. So are you gonna get done loading at some point? Thank you. I thought I was supposed to wander around the monastery, not sit and read. I don't look weird at all with my black hair that covers one eye and my face that looks like it's like I'm a 50 year old man. Please don't, you know, shoot the cameraman with your, your bow. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy, correct? Just I never volunteered to this, or consent to this, whatever. Leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy. I and can move the camera during cutscenes. That is your first I have been granted the power. Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. What was this? You were a bit surprised that I frankly we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That at least was admirable. Now you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Oh, I actually have to accept the quest. Once you have... May I ask a favor of you? May I ask a favor of you? What's in here? Boring. Seriously, I can't interact with the door. I have to interact with a waypoint in front of the door. NPC, NPC, NPC. Can I talk with NPCs? Nope. Hi. 
My god, it's the god of fiddles. I can't talk to them. Ash is the best totally unpretentious. I do agree with that. Okay. Ash is the best. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld. I hey, remember when that was spelled with an A, but then that was removed because that's not a letter in the English alphabet. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? I just see a full list of who they are here, like that. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry, I'll make sure she finds her way to class. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I believe. Yeah, let's see. What could she potentially like that I should improve myself on in order to recruit her? I know I'll get into that system later. Yes. <laughs> How do I get Dimitri to be my friend? Huh? Oh, so I can talk to people if the pleasure. speech bubble is red. For me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Yeah, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. And then they show an arrow over them. If you've already talked with them, but you can talk with them again. Boo! Spoil sport. Didn't they show an arrow over someone? They unstuck me. Yes. Fiend. Spotted what? I, I didn't see that text. Spotted Claude, okay. What are you guys talking about? You're not talking about anything. You're not talking about anything. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blakid, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? The only one that bet us. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar. But I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality. So I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Oh. His personal skill is luck picking. I'm gonna need him in my army. Proud of stat and all of that. Good at axes and bows and really bad at magic, okay. Anything else? Then I should take notes off. Good speed, good dexterity, good strength, you know, all of the stats that you care about as an archer, the rest can go to hell. Charisma? <laughs> I need to read up. Let's see. Strength. Yeah, we've got the HP that they make. Strength, magic, yes. Skill, speed, luck, and now it's called Dex, yes. Uh, defense and resistance. What's a charisma standing for? Is it like support magic ability or something? I should have noticed that. Hello. Yes. 
Okay, that's where I have to go last. Oh, I could guess I could go there now. Let me see if I can just go and talk to the guy now. Busy, so could you please move along now? Thanks. Who are you? Okay, now, what else did Lady Rhea need doing today? What happened? Here I am again, the office of the Captain of the Knights. That said, I'm merely here to assist. Apparently, the current captain is getting on in years. I hear the captain has a hard time keeping up with the responsibilities of the job. Ah, that's where I come in. Professor, dropping by so soon? I expected we'd take some time. Stop Stay hitting on me. Smiles as we passed in the hall. Flirt a bit, you know. Well, you're here now, and I do like a man who knows what he wants. Nope, nope. Love Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Huh. That welcome didn't phase you at all, did it? What's the matter? Don't you like me? Or are you just so innocent you don't understand me? Get me out! This is my research laboratory. I've worked hard to furnish it with the rare materials and purpose-built equipment required for my work. Where was the select button? That's, that doesn't open minimap. Oh, enlarging the minimap rather. Oh, it's locked. It's also locked. Can I like large map? Nope, I don't know how to do that. Hello, cat. Kitty, kitty, kitty. You can't pet it. This is the worst game in the world. Officially, there's no value in it. it she just appear out of nowhere. I feel as though she just spawned out of nowhere. Welcome to the library. I am Tomas, the librarian. If you have need of me, do not hesitate to ask. I have worked here for... Uh, hmm, uh, I have lost track of the decades, it seems. Well, if you're selling it, feel free to come in, then don't block the fucking doorway. Oh, neat. Let's see. Oh. I've never seen you before. Brilliant work, detective. Can't go past you. You can't go past here. What's the purpose of an open world if you can't navigate it? Ah, neat. So that's where everything is. What do you think? The Golden Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. <laughs> ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. Is this Mr. Ridiculous hair? That's him. Your hair's dumb. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? Amazing memory, sir. So I can talk with a lot more members of this house than the other was. Oh, right, because the other house I only went into the generics. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. 
Please do not forget it. It's like this. What do you think? Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne von Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. No, you idiot. I'm teaching you where the Higgs clawed. Oh, there he is. Well, well. Scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Huh. Experience and boost. Neat. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. If a male ally is adjacent, you can take kills two X damage and takes two less damage during combat. Also known as <coughs> thirsty as fuck. I appreciate your effort. Classroom belongs to the blue one. All of us here. Hail. Hey, hey. Hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved His Highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. Huh? Where's Ash? There he is. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. That's Great a bad camera you. angle. This here is Dedu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued His Highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Except by joining my house, because you won't do that. Alright, any of these other guys that I want to talk with? Nope, I just came here to see Ash. Hey! This is the classroom of the Black. Our house leader is Princess Ada. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you the fact that he throws in the word legitimate makes me suspect that he's not. Like, places focus on that word. Can I talk him again? Yep, that's just the same dialogue again. But that's only got just one line? Unfair. Enjoying your time at the Academy thus far. I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three. So, me ping an allegiance earlier was completely pointless. Against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses.
So you have chosen the golden deer led by Claude, correct? Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Dismissed. Wait, what? Are you really our new homeroom professor? Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. <laughs> oh, well then. Thrilling options I was granted. Formalities aren't all that An entire choice. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment. Becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. I doubt that. Apparently our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Saros. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. Huh. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Captain Gerald deserves nothing but respect. Hmm. Well, after working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Oh, um, yes. I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high quality leaves. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. There's no meat involved. It's not a party. I'm leaning towards Raphael in this one. Greeting to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. Please keep talking and shutting up, Lawrence. The deer house is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. All right. Ah, yes, the good old loading screen tips that you already know. I've missed playing video games with those.
Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything. Absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into such a topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that Until it like skip a generation? Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Bye-bye. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Like I don't even get to try any teaching before the mark pedal. With each moon, professors of the officers' academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month and when. Well, it's not like I have a choice. Well, that was Lady Rhea's voice that you heard inside of your head. Supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. 
As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here. But the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Yes, yes. Off to Ace Rank and bang one of them. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. And this is basically just to... I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future. Okay. Did you hear the news, Teach? Looks like we're gonna have a good old mock battle between the houses. The Golden Deer House isn't exactly what you'd call an elite group just yet, so you may want to whip everyone into shape with some extra training. After all, competition is only fun if you win. <laughs> to that end, I better prepare as well. You know, I was researching what it's like to live here long before I even enrolled. Want me to fill you in, Teach? Students and teachers of the Officers Academy are all free to use the facilities within the monastery. That means you can chow down with students at the dining hall or get in some one-on-one -on -one sparring at the training grounds. As you explore the monastery, try visiting the various facilities and talking to the people who live here. If you haven't noticed, there are bulletin boards in various places around here. You can check them out to see posted requests or to find more information about the market. I hear that fulfilling requests can even earn you the right to use more facilities. The bulletin board gets updated frequently. So it's probably a good idea to check it once a month. Okay. Far be it for me to tell you how to use the facilities, but it's a good idea to be mindful of how you're using your time. If you don't think about how you're spending your free time, it'll be over before you know it. Here at the Officers Academy, even professors are expected to study often to help maintain their strong leadership skills. In other words, students and teachers alike have to strive to grow in every possible field. So, about the mock battle that's coming up, you don't mind me sitting it out, do you? As a fragile maiden, I'm useless in battle. I'll just cheer everyone on instead. Fuck no, we need a healer. You're participating whether you like it or not, bitch. I think she's a healer, right? Can I just like... Ruster? Oh, that's... This is actually a pretty cool party menu. I like it. Uh, Hilda, there we go. Strings, strings, strings. Oh, I just have to go to. Alright. So now I can actually look at the full menu. <laughs> I've also got extra proficiency in just punching people. Digging the snosh. Alright, I like all of this. I like these menus. How come the game lets you have two crests? See what's this crest? Still, still using combat arts. That's actually pretty good. It's free life steal.
dormitories. Well, I need to find Bernadette and Ash and figure out how I need to improve myself to recruit them. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. I doubt it. only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. There you go, Bernadette. Um, I, uh, was just heading back to my room, bye! Ah, come on! Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea's quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye I'm can not see. recruiting you. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Hello, Ash. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Ashy. Maybe. Ash. Ash. There we go. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Let's see. I'm a little busy. I really can't right now. I got a lot of things to do. Work and stuff like that. Why don't you look at the flowers in the greenhouse instead? They're pretty. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we end. Ah, goddess, I pray to thee. Please protect us. <sighs> Unbelievable. The Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance's lead. If you're a teacher here, you better... Well, suffice to say that it could harm the reputation of the church. So this is basically them keeping like, if they die, it's game over for you, bitch. for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor?
What, what does that simple mean? I need to look into how that works later. Oh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Yes. I'm busy. Do you want something? I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. Here at the monastery, I have had many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do... Yes. Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. I have a request. Interior seats. Now don't misinterpret that sentence. Yes. I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Enjoy the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice but to get rid of you. Joking, of course. <laughs> Wow, Eureka sure seems strong. Spotted Caspar. Perception I be the five. Professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Eureka was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Eureka in battle. Well, I could probably take you. Oh yeah, you want to try me, mate? You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. I could fucking end you. What? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. Okay. So these are basically just fast travel locations. Provenance of our class name? The Eagle. That refers to the twin headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. Get me out of and here. Black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, Black Eagles. I did not come in here for a history lesson. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first king of Fargus. Lube, the king of lions, wore brilliantly. I thought that was Kynicus. Chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the blue lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Right, right. Before I came to the officers' academy, I attended a school of magic in the kingdom capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the School of Magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Which is why I'm gonna separate you into two separate ho different houses by recruiting one of you. <laughs> yes, it's true that I'm the only commoner in the Black Eagle house. I knew that before the first day of class. Those people are simply exhausting. Have you memorized everyone's names yet? I'm Ignatz, in case you forgot. I'm looking forward to learning from you. Our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? Golden Deer are sacred creatures, said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. 
screen just like flash black and white a few times. Glitch in the capture card, glitch in the game. As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodland. Assisting with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? Indeed. Ah, there we go. Talk with person. Professor, nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. Yes. I hear a member of House Fresno. The ruling family of the Empire has entered the Officers' Academy for the first time in ages. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close Yeah, it'd be terrible if, like, the Empire was to declare war on the Church, and a lot of people would die, and all of that. that that'd just be bad. types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. So it can skip a generation. The nature of how and why crests are inherited is still... <coughs> Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. Please don't treat me like a child. I may be a bit younger than the others, but that really shouldn't factor in. I'm an adult, you're a child. I shall treat you how I wish. Especially if it's as a child. Hello, Ria. Do bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. Ooh, another stair up was... I can't even go to the third floor. Man. They don't even offer an explanation for how I can't go there. Hello, Aloe. Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. Why am I talking about this? Oh, right. It was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. Nope, no reason to go that way. Ah, so that will have both those buttons. I'll need to check with it also. They also both have the effect in. Professor, I hear you are lacking in knowledge of the Church of Seros. The library contains countless documents about the teaching and the history of the church. I encourage you to make good use of them. 
That's so. I might take all of these ticks south later. Say now. Tomas has served as the monastery's librarian for decades. Actually, he was away from Garrett Mark for a spell, but he returned to his post last year. There is no one as familiar with the monastery's archives as he is. to be a mock battle between the houses. Interesting, my research is proceeding slower than I would like. Your crest is some... I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A couple square inches would do. I mean, I could give cobble drops of blood. That's not an issue. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. They're not... Don't worry, though. Should you get injured... I think. The church has changed a lot since my time. Sedith, Hanuman, Manuela, Yuritsa, and many of the knights. None of them were around 20 years ago. Have you met Leone yet? Apparently, it was my influence that inspired her to leave her village. Sorry to burden you, but could you watch over her for me? She's the only apprentice I've ever had. Oh, so she is his apprentice. I thought that's just something she called herself. Alright, let's walk to the dining hall. Oh, I can't actually just walk to the dining hall, I can only walk to characters. And I extensively well, did not still, you know, professor? pick the one who's in the dining hall. Oh, person I can talk to. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay with that, professor. Oh, that's just Bernadette. All right. Uh, I guess that takes care of everything. To the dining hall. Once I remember how to get there. Wait, I can fast travel, right? Nope. These like mean they're in a especially good mood today or something. I guess I may as well try it. I can pick quite a few people. Is Ash on the list? Ash is not on the list. Now let's see. So if I pick Bernadetta. This is my favorite. You've got great taste. I like this dish. Yes, it's streaming. Ah, it's working again. Yes, this card, all right. Nice. I knew I could count on you. 
All right. Then, then I am out of activity points, right? Yep. Persona emblem. Let's see. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't know what those online statistics mean. Time for a mock battle, eh? Hmm. How should we go about this? Well, you'll be our commander, that much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got to teach. Right. I'll do whatever I can to help too. I mean, I'm kind of obligated to. For example, if I add a little something to their food to upset Seems like a fast strategy. Yeah, yeah, wink wink, I read you. You can't officially condone <laughs> that sort of thing, right? But say, hypothetically speaking, students from the other houses started racing to the infirmary. As far as anyone knows, it could just be a harmless little stomach bug making the rounds. Well, well, what a fascinating conversation you two are having. May we join? Claude, I can't believe you would stoop to such crooked schemes to gain the advantage. Have you no honor? <laughs> if that was really my scheme, I wouldn't be talking about it out in the open. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until our battle to see what's really in store. It's irrelevant anyhow. Whatever you have planned won't save you from a crushing defeat. She has a point. Still, I'm rather eager to see what sort of schemes that mind of yours conjures up. You heard him, Teach. We can't let these fine folks down. Yeah, he's a bit like calm, I guess. <coughs> Are you serious, Teach? Well, if a crooked scheme is really what you're after, I've got more than a few of those up my sleeve. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. I'm sorry, professors. It's about time I return to my training anyway. Claude, Edelgard, until we meet again on the battlefield, farewell. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. All right. Wait, I have to do a a strategy meeting with the other teachers, but like, aren't you supposed to be pitted against each other? Logic. Okay, so we're not using tomes, but instead we have the limited use of the magic, and I guess it's not costing HP like it did in Echoes. Okay, and is that all you need to know about the new magic system? Nice UI. Oh, I can I only get five? That's incredibly not really what I wanted. Well, let's see. Just go all out on archery. That's the strategy, obviously. <laughs> yeah, let's see. How can I see who has magic? Oh, I can... let's see... 
skills. Oh, she doesn't actually have any magic. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, skills. Basic dark magic. All right. Anyone got healing? Marianne has healing. So include Marianne. Got it. That should be the setup. Oh, I could just look at what Angela writes in the chat, but that's too easy. Uh, let's see. Oh, do I have any supports available? Wait, can I... T I can't toggle off myself either, okay. Save the setup. Not that I think it's necessary. So, is Permitive turned on during the mock battles? Because it'd be kind of weird if it was. Command's all yours, Teach. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Okay, primitive's turned off. Uh, let's see, Ferdinand. Well, what's this range of. Yes, and that is with combat arts and all. All right. Stay focused. Ready and willing. Who me? Leave it to me. Let's get to it. I will fight on the front lines. I can stop the enemy's advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to... I suppose I've no choice but to provide cover. Thank you, Hubert. We are off to a terrible start. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. So will they attack each other or will they Not just focus on me because I'm the new guy? Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you? Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. Alright, Ash is within range. My moment has arrived. Oh fuck, Ash just died. So strong. Have to do better next time. He just walked up and ended him. Oh, nice. You're relentless. All right. So wait, how many t six uses? Okay. Let's just get the only to it. Okay, let's not have Leone. Wait. Tempest Lance. Might plus eight. That should finish him off. Yep. I'm the son of House Iyer. How did I fail? I must need to train harder. How do you like that? Wait, how many times can I use heal for battle? I should probably check that first. 
five times. Okay, it's probably a bit more be a bit more conservative then. Ah, uh, Leonie is in trouble. Can't really do much to stop her from getting hit then. Hmm. You are performing as expected, Professor. We will have to face you with our full might. Well, here is my phone. If it's going to make noises, it shouldn't be hiding. There we go. Okay, they seem to mostly go for me. Now, who do I kill with? Oh, she's an archer. Okay, then we'll attack from here. That's not that much damage. Alright, uh. There we go. That's a good chip. How much can I heal with? See, she's taking 13 damage. Can she be healed fully? She can heal 11. Okay. Can she talk with anyone? No, it's just. What's my seed is range? Good. Then I'll just let's see. Did you, do you reach the forest or not? You do not. No, you reach that forest. Can I? Yep, I can. Put the team in position and defeat Team Dimitri by taking out the right hand man. Are you planning on fighting two houses at once? I will admit that is favorable for us. I've currently Seek just going for blue lions. Let's forge ahead. I I'm not really touching your black eagles, little guard. I just took out the one who went for me at the start. That's everyone charging at once, isn't it? Seems like I have to resort to brains. That's not good enough.
Oh, I should probably get a small heal boost. Oh, I can just like... Nosferatu the guy. I guess I'll just Nosferatu the guy. This is how you see us. Really? Well, that was a bit dumb. Let's see, I still have Leone. She will not fare well against Dimitri, but can I like... Just poke Mercedes? Like, poke her really hard. There we go. And then Claude. Can you hit from here? Go for the finisher. <laughs> I am sorry for not following Canon, Your Highness. I shall do as you command next time. Wait, I'm, I'm an idiot. Dimitri can also reach the forest tile and just attack Claude from there. And all of my units are spent, so wait, he did not go for Claude. Oh, he went for the healer. <laughs> Too bad he forgot to account for Nosferatu. And this is what you get for attacking healer. Uh, no, they're not. He's literally shielded by all of his allies. I'm not done yet. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. She's under Edelgard's range, but doesn't matter because Weapon Triangle is a myth. Edelgard is not actually the Black Eagle's best girl, contrary to popular belief. Oh wait, she could throw the axe and now I've got three guys on me. She can also counter-attack with her thrown axe. Take this, like, yeah, it's uh, just a hand axe, it's not a combat art. That does... Wait, can I like... So, I can follow up, that's the thing, alright. And if I do a combat art, I lose my ability to follow up, just like an it. Here it goes, right? Yes. Yes, Bernadette is the best girl. It's not a pick, it's just the truth. Alright, time to sabotage Edelgard. Careful not to scar that little face of yours. 
careful, Claude. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things Claude has top tier banter. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Oh, this would be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? All right, so I can one round her with Violet, but then Violet will be in a bit of dire situation. Can I Tempest Lance her? Yeah, that'll do it. Fucking grab and drop it, was he? I don't care if the stuff breaks. Things are made to be broken, like I don't know rules, I guess. Forced to retreat. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. Oh, she's actually equipped with magic. And she can take out half of. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look too good either. What if I go for Manuela instead? Oh, that's pretty good. Get lost, bitch. Well done. I nearly wound up a patient. Wait, we can use broken weapons in this game? I'm so used to like in literally all other fan games with weapon durability, if the weapon breaks, it's gone forever. So you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now. No, 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 no! Don't become active! Don't become active! Oh, oh! Thank God! Good. Thank God. That, that's the word. Let's see. I should probably order a tactical retreat of two, three, four. Of Marianne to not get slaughtered by Drovia and enter defensive terrain. <laughs> All right, so get up. We can with curved shot. What was it the minor crest of Reagan did again? Ah, that was. Oh, right, that's the soul fuel thing. Come on. What if I like poke her first and then I follow up there? Nope, I'll just kill her. Uh, I'll manage. You guys are no fun. Disappointing. Thank you. Ah, come on. Angela, we've been making that joke for ages about both Elliewood and Ninian and Allman Silica. Like, you can't keep making that joke, it's old news by now. You know, 
Okay. He only has 5 uses of Saga Tape. I could wear that out and then just pummel him from range to farm XP. Especially since he's on a heal tile. Oh, I could just kill him. Really? Hmm. Move there. Get healed on. I am most definitely the person to talk about jokes being dead. I've never, ever told a dead joke in my life. I'll just... just murder him. Bye-bye. As expected. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is the Golden Deer House. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. Yay! And Claude is the fucking MVP again. It has advanced. It's just only advanced in terms of Danish memes that you Englandians, Americanians people do not understand. You cannot comprehend them with your foreign brains. Huh, playing ignorant as to the quality of your command and deflecting the praise to your students. You really are a model professor, Teach. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. <laughs> well met, Professor. The breadth of your skill was on full display today. I must admit that your tactics were masterful. I of course they were. What may have transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle. I noticed that too! We just did what you told us, and we won! Uh, Which was sit on the bench, on the sidelines, and don't get in the way! Thank you for today, Professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our Professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Uh, me? Oh, um, yes, of course. Well done, Professor. Captain Gerald taught his child well. It would have been more of a surprise had our professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leonie? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. Yes, so it's all thanks to me. I'm a hero. Forged in battle. The one Those are the sorts of things true you know savior of the Golden Deers. But more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. Is that the one with the poison mushrooms? After all, I swiped some finely aged cheese from the dining hall for just this occasion. Okay, let's see what was it you said I had to do for Ash. Uh... Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Gerald trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the charm and lands. Okay. With the students. I saw hearts popping over the battlefield. I think that means I bonded. More than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere. No, 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 no. The poisoned mushrooms are intentional. Uh, it's because in heroes he tries to cook poisoned mushrooms to smuggle in the opponents' food. Train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today. I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. 
Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand and also, if and report back to it was Persona, he would be able to cook because he's male. It's only women who can't cook in Persona. Details for your first mission. I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. You can't keep being surprised when she talks with you inside your head. You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? I will try, but I can't guarantee that my character won't be stupid. Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Dan Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless. This I can't believe that guy is still alive. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a, child of the night's former a generic map bus that I'll survives be... the map is hey, this isn't what the I plot twist of the century. Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits. Also, that's fair. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Uh, damn you! Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, Joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltin and Grander. Okay. Gain bonus damage to certain types of enemies. In this case, the damage will double the weapon's might. Might. Ah, okay. Yeah. That stuff. So is weapon arts uh, combat arts tied to weapons or to fighters in this game? Like, in Echoes you had to level up with a weapon in order to get them for that weapon. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study. But this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. Units, okay. The knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the knights when it is time. I did not need that image, Angela. Until then, use your time wisely. More bandits. Not very original, Teach. <laughs> Claude, this is fire album game, you have to get used to it. <laughs> well, as long as you're with us, at least things won't be boring. In fact, it may take a turn for the interesting. 
And with that, I take my leave to make my final preparations. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Well, I didn't expect it would be easy on you. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. It seems I was right to worry. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what Oh no, a character who can't fight by my side. I sure hope it's not because something is going to happen to him. That would be truly tragic and unexpected. Because never ever has a parent died in a Fire Emblem game before. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, we get stuff. Fine. Uh, case exam for beginner class. Intermediate class. Alright. Let's take a look at the armory. What stuff do we have? I won't look at items before I figure out what kind of stuff I want people to have. You know, the broken weapon that is the most surprising would work is probably the bow. Like, how do you shoot a broken bow? I get stuff just for talking with you all. Sure. Professor. Does fishing take off a time slot? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? <laughs> it's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. <laughs> I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Ah, yes. Much like talking. I have a request. That's Hello, Claude. Those bandits really didn't think things through, did they? They had to have known the knights would be after them the moment they entered the monastery's turf. Fine by me, though. I'm raring for some real combat experience. Any you know, if we wait all the way to the thing. end of the month, couldn't the bandits no have just, like, moved on at that point? Like that? Just saying. Students aren't the only ones who have something to learn from their professors. Professors can also learn from each other. If you want to, you should try trading knowledge with Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. The house a student belongs to is determined by where they're from, but it is possible for someone to switch to a different one. Of course, that's only if the student very strongly wants to make the change and their professor is on board with it. If you do a lot of different activities around the monastery, You'll get closer to students, and they may ask you about it. Those 
Bandit, they have fun. Is there any? I meant to talk with Dimitri. Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You haven't spot. Perhaps we could train together sometime. It is better if you do not approach me. Oh, you were so friendly if you before. Spend too much time around a man of Dusker. There will be rumors. I don't know what that means. Are they gonna think that we are involved? Uh, currently I'm thinking about Ash and Bernadetta. You're quite powerful to have beaten us in the mock battle. Such a shame you aren't leading our class. I've heard your class is hunting thieves. That mission is very different from the one we will get in. What are the odds that you'll also just get to hunt thieves if you're a black eagle? Or maybe he's being sarcastic. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class? I'm really flattered, honestly. But I still have a lot left to learn in my current one. Ah, they just straight up told me. Good. Oh, there we go, there's the screenshot button. Pull-in-sin port, pull and sin port, pull and sin port. Oh! I've got to find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Ooh, same! I'll definitely remember that. Huh? Mm, I'm not... Mexican fave. All right, uh, let's see. I thought that Marga meant that there's going to be like a quest from her. Where's the bulletin board? There's the bulletin board. Uh, what about. Uh, what about gardening? Do you need to. Spent uh, an action on that, or is that also just a free action? What? Fish wants to catch. And then press A. A to hook it. Don't wait too long, though, or the fish will escape the bait. Press the A button when the circles overlap to reduce the stamina of the hooked fist or stamina. Please, you have successfully caught the fish. If your line breaks, the fish will escape. Durability of the fishing line increases with the professor level. Why does the durability of the fishing line increase with the professor level? That doesn't make any sense. It's like, I am now a better professor. I have figured out how to just will the line to be stronger. Excellent time will create combos that do some fish damage and quickly. If you land excellent time and all opportunities, you'll be that are more valuable fish and useful. So if you're better at catching the fish that's on your hook, then the fish on your hook will become better. Like that also doesn't make sense. How does that work retroactively? I need realism in my fantasy game. <laughs> Wow, that was a lot of EXP. Ah, neat. Fishing hasn't been unlocked yet. I just did it, you dunce. Oh, hello, Shimia. Have we met? No, sorry. You remind me of someone I know. Have we met? No. 
Goodbye, Shamir. Let's see what were the seeds that dead you want me to plant. Oh, I guess that you want me to plant Dedu seeds, but I'm not too sure. My thanks. Professor. Someone wants to talk with me? Oh, hello, Marianne. Mission is to go after a group of bandits. I'm not very confident. I'm afraid like the most important party member next to the lords. Oh, Professor. Hello. I was just looking for my well, it's it's like a pale blue cloth. Have you seen it? Uh, um I do find you very interesting, Professor. Mm. Charisma and authority? Okay. What is it? I'm not doing anything! <laughs> okay. oh, come on! That's just cool! Um, I... These pillars are very solid. All right. Yeah, uh, let's see. Flame is where exactly? They said sanctuary. Is that like? That reminds me. Over here ish. sure does remind me of somebody. Oh, do you need me for something? Nope, right. probably not over here because I can't go there. I was thinking. I was thinking. What about... Bored. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Are you sure? I thought you'd found me out for a moment. <laughs> You're not being very subtle, you dunce. Oh, come on. Ah, I can try. Yoto was not receiving enough video to maintain spoof speed as such viewers experience buffering. I tried at the last bulletin board, but they told me that I couldn't fast travel to her location because I hadn't visited it yet. That's right. so let me see if I can find a bulletin board and illustrate. Hello, Eloy. Hello. I'll be seeing you. I don't need luck. This and just like that, he disappeared. There are way too many vegetables in today's. Oh, hi. Well, everyone. Okay, so look, if I try to go to talk with Flane, visit the cathedral to unlock the ability to fast travel there. And where the heck is the cathedral? What else does this say? Uh, 
I should probably also head to the like the top floor. And visit the library. Oh hey Tomas. Reception hall and head north. Yeah, let's see, reception hall was up north, I think. Reception hall and head north. No, I don't know how the fast traveling works. Hey you. Hello, Ferdinand. Goodbye, Ferdinand. That's the cathedral. I open up the map. Oh, the other R button. Yeah, so I'm not exactly renowned for my intelligence. Alright, where's Flane? I have a favor to ask. Was playing down here. Are you playing? Wait. You're not playing. Well, I should probably go for the quest completed marker on the mini map. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the Saint Indec. Saint Sophie. Now that you are a member of the church, be sure. Inside Saint now that you are inside Saint now that I have something to ask of you. It is the duty of have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess but you don't sound terribly sure. Perhaps you are not Hello Mercedes. Oh Professor did you come to pray to the goddess? Me too. Shall we pray together? Oh, you are I'm already having so much fun in my current place. Here's an idea. The students who like to sing, that's Dorothea, right? I should probably head upstairs like a plan to do. What? Xanado, the Red Canyon is a place even to go trampling. Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command and bearing the unknown crest's power. Your talents are incredible. And Lady Ray is inside as to your. Yeah, that's why I'm like, she's probably a good fit for that whole find someone who likes to sing thing. Because she was a songstress. Let's see, I have two action points. Yes, I have two action points. Horse Eaglets is in library.
Lin had in the library. Now that's an unexpected side. It's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharp? Huh? However. So like, aside from dining, what can I use my action points on? I would expect I could use them to study at the library, but I didn't really see anywhere where they would prompt me to do that. Okay, let's see... Dorofia, 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 there we go. Oh, I just gotten the, he likes sleep part of his personality down, not the research part. Ah, there we go. Dolphia, you like to sing? Oh, Rick, I was just looking for my... Oh, they did mention that I could go and talk with other professors to learn stuff from them. Well, Cloud mentioned. Cloud mentioned it. Cloud. <laughs> oh. Oh God, it's a fits quest. No wait, I only need to find for the gold and deer, not for the all of them. God, I thought it was like I had to find each individual small bit. I guess I can also go to qua practice word practice <laughs> with the students. Now let's just go with the two. Wow. Have those up arrows, I think they mean something good. Singing's okay, but I should really have a cute dance to go along with it. Me 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 me. Something appears to be wrong with my throat. Oh crap. Oh, what do we have here? I accidentally confirmed too quick. Can I just like...
All right, let's try out some more fishing. Come on, three out of four of those were excellent. How is that only two star? Uh, good and two stars. It's always the third one that gets you. Nice. I get a perfect score and then it only has three stars. We've been tricked. We've been backstabbed. And we've been quite possibly bamboozled. Alright, so I can run around and find small items. Which doesn't cost any actions or anything. That's completely free. in the courtyard. I should remember to check that before I end exploring today. when we got back to my room? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me. <laughs> amiibo gazebo. Oh. I wonder if I can trigger an amiibo at that one if I had a fire emblem amiibo and not just a link amiibo. That's like the most pointless feature ever. Yeah, let's see. Greenhouse, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, I can only have one set player at a time. I must figure out how to romance Knights of Cyrus. I shall go there last. Oh, but these pillars are solid. What's the system behind which pillars are and aren't solid? I must know. Simon is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one on one battle, which is better, strength or skill? You might be right, but when it's all said and done, I still think muscle comes out on top. Hey there, Professor. You here to. Ch oh, that reminds me. Alright, it's because she's down here. Oh, Professor, I was just looking for my... Oh, I was... Uh, so how do I tell her that Caspar has the blue cloth? Okay. 
how to force the two of them to meet up and discuss that. Hey there, Professor. Oh, that reminds not really sure what it is. And now that you're all the way over here, Professor, after training. Hi, Professor. I've actually got for years, the Boar, Prince, and I were inseparable. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that, he's strong and skilled, sure. Take care he doesn't choose. Join me for some training sometime. I'm interested. I might like to become your... How do I train a training ground? I can't. I'm set. I guess I'll try and get a seminar from like that guy. Hanneman. Hello, Lady Rhea. Hey, you. Thank you for. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can. You seem to be getting along well with the students. I can often do. I can often. That wasn't. Okay, I can't do first training quite yet, so I'll just go to the dining hall and try and make some activity there. Right. Oh, that's actually pretty neat. I'm not sure that's supposed to be a fire. I, I I don't think that's supposed to be a fire. You're doing it you're doing it wrong, Byleth. Alright, time to actually do my job. Don't tell me. No one bothered to show you the standard procedure for lectures? I guess it's up to me to save the day. Before starting a lecture, be sure to first check on our study goals. After all, students will want to prioritize studying things that relate to their goals. It's 
probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. But that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach things that don't relate to someone's goals. Not by, by overcoming their weaknesses, some students may develop an interest in new fields. A student's study goals may need to be updated based on their learnings. It's an important part of being T. How well their tutoring goes will depend on a student's motivation. It's possible that interacting with students on a regular basis will raise their motivation. Maybe. Then again, what do I know? In any case, make sure to keep... Students are encouraged to partake in various activities around the monastery. If you have students work together, it will give them a chance to interact and maybe even help them achieve better results. Have you heard about the monthly certification exams? If you want to become a certain class, you have to pass the certification exam for it. That means training up on the required skills so you can pass. Don't slack when it comes to teaching your students what they need to know. To was easy, thanks to you. <laughs> I could get used to this. I learned a lot from this. Preposterous. You're only making it worse. to come together. <laughs> oh, I can... Whoops.
Oh, charisma is team attack power. Okay. Sword, faith, riding, and flying. Can I make you like a falcon knight? Or a troubadour, maybe? I would like to ask you. Just get through this. Sorry you're stuck with me. Can't argue with results, can you? Battalions are deployed in battle so students can learn how to take command. Oh, that concept may be new to a loner mercenary like you, eh, Teach? Want me to explain the basics? When hiring a battalion, start by deciding who will lead them. Pay close attention to the battalion type. One may be made up of armed soldiers, while another is all mages. As for who should lead which battalion, well, be sure to think on that carefully. If you deploy a battalion, you can use their special gambit. If you successfully pull off a gambit, you may be able to affect the outcome of the battle, even if just a tiny bit. Oh, hello, Angela. If you 
join forces with a nearby ally, there's a good chance that the results will be even greater. Any of y'all ready to talk with each other? Nope. Boring. Alright. Uh, oh, I get to use everyone this time. So these are church soldiers, does that also mean that primitive is turned on in this one? Like the mock battles? Stay focused. Ready anytime. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Hilda. Uh, you tank here. Raphael, you can't reach the tank position. Oops. You should not be up tanking. You should be up supporting. But I forgot to set the battalions. I, I sit here, read a tutorial on how to do battalions. And then I forget to actually put on the freaking battalions. Let's get to it. I stand ready. Oh, guess they must have fall to equip then. All right, Claude, I need you to soften up this guy a bit. Nope, that's that's called killing the guy. I said soften up. Oh right, I can do a curved shot to avoid <laughs> making a follow-up. I think that I should try and get the subdue skill, but... Nah, that can't possibly be useful. Come on, that's also curved shot. Okay. All right, retreat to safety and make a curved shot.
And now it is time to use the sacred art of taking them in a snosh. Oh wait, so that's what that skill does. Maybe I should actually read skill descriptions or something like that. But that's actually a pretty good skill to have. to get a proper level up. Wait, she can do a ranged attack? Why do they show that boost from her? Don't fuck with the mages. if you're too strong. Magnificent. HP, luck, defense and charisma. This HP and defense are pretty good. I killed a finish him. You lost to me?
Okay, let's see. Strategy, strategy, strategy. Fall back to defensible positions. Wait, 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 I can't rotate the camera in this game. 10 out of 10 best game in the series. Can I like... Oh my god. This is amazing. Let's see what's here. That's a lot of guys. All right, that's only all of the guys at once. Nothing to worry about. Eeny meeny miny mo, kill a bad guy with a bow. Oh, I thought I switched to the iron bow. Whoops. Seems like I accidentally switched back to the rusted bow again. No, you were meant to do that from the forest, you dunce. Oh, yes, he did do it from the forest, okay. Can I even, like, finish him up? Big oh. Wait, is that like a brave weapon, or... Why did he attack twice in a row? Why didn't the guy get to counter-attack first? It is a brief web. Trivial victory. Uh, let's see. Come on. Ah, whatever. Let's see, anyone need healing? Hilda needs healing, but she's in an inconvenient spot. Everyone who needs healing are in inconvenient spots. I need to get physics. Won that. 
Wow, Raphael is just tanking the hits. Come on! <laughs> Seriously, Raphael? And at the very first chance they have to show off the power of the gambit, they fail entirely and miserably. Now that's what I call Fire Emblem. Alright, soften him up. Or don't, because I forgot that Rusted Bow has like no hit whatsoever. Those curved shots are still not in the slightest bit curved. speed handle whatever comes next <sighs> the animations in this game look so fluid what is this we these guys are leading one EXP. <sighs> Raphael and right, I can also see if I get a level on Claude because then I can promote him. And just program this time. Unnecessary crits, the video game. I expected as much. I'm impressed. Uh, I'm all sweaty.
Making my muscles proud. That's some decent level up too. But I don't get why I couldn't just go for the bandits here today. Oh, so I don't get any free time events if I go out and beat up some bitches. Let's see, that could be Raphael, and who else would I want in? Ooh, Leone. Alright, so I can instruct people, and this time I actually remember to do the thing the way it's supposed to be done. Let's see what was it I wanted her to have. Why did I train that? Uh, let's probably also try and this up. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, Leone, I think. Orb. So Claude has no more space at all, so I can't tutor him. Okay.
okay, but I should really have a cute dance to go along with it. What's the point of singing practice? It's not going to make me stronger. Ready? Here we go. Okay, I'm good to go. We did good out there. Experience is everything. My efforts have borne fruit. I guess I'm still growing. It's fun when you know what you're doing. I got a grasp on this. I'm getting the hang of it. All right, Claude. Let's have you turn into a fighter. I cannot explore. I'm sitting down the school bench and taking notes myself too. It's fun when you know what you're doing. Hey, Teach. Glad you can make it. We've been waiting on you. It seems the knights have our foes cornered. They are in Xanado, the Red Canyon. It's bandit time? That sounds like real night work. Let's get to it. I'm itching to put my skills to the test as well. We have to win so Captain Gerald can see how much I've learned. I thought Gerald wasn't coming with us. Either way, I'll give it everything I've got. Um, even if I go, it's not like I'd be of any use. Don't say that because you're the That's healer. Don't work together and give it our all. We are doomed to fail. You can be pretty intense sometimes, Lysithia. But I agree. Let's do our best. If we fight half as well as we chatter, we'll be fine. Come on, Teach. Lead the way. Wait, let's take a look at our inventory. I look fine. Claude, you need a new bow. Oh. For emergency use only, may mister. Oh, Javelin. Leone. You can use the bow, right?
Hilda, okay, you look fine. You look fine. That looks fine. Looks fine. Fine, fine, fine. All right. No reason not to sell the bullion. these for my main tanks. Wait, Sylvain is the top of the recruiting popularity charts? Uh, Jasmine is not gonna like that. Thank you so much. So, we are taking children into battle, are we? I'm not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. Okay, finally I'm unlocking the Divine Pulse. So you to turn back the hands of time. No, this power is not infinite. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but I was not allowed to do free time last time I had the chance. I want to check the boards. You meanies. Wait, there's certain people who can only reach B rank? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, inventory. Let's equip, shall we? Store, store, get the leather shield, items, yes, iron shield is equipped, iron gauntlet is equipped, shield equip, Lawrence, Might as well equip the last shield. There we go. had been driven back. That's what we last heard, so no surprise there. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! I hear there's a back road to the west. How about we split up and attack from there and from the front? We may be able to corner the enemy by approaching from both sides. In any case, we need to cross the bridge first. I'll leave the details to you, Teach.
I got this. Ready and willing. Two, three, four. Okay. Still only four movement speed. I stand ready. Let's get to it. Who, me? Ready any time. Stay focused. Leave it to me. Who, me? All right. Get punched on. I'm pretty strong. I'll celebrate later. This is what I've trained for. Oh, it's also pretty late. I should probably just bookmark. Shut off.